Hello guys, and welcome to the second episode of our Marhold campaign, the Griffin Riders of Turbo Shenanigans. In the last episode, we conquered Heartgrinder, Groundhawk, and the Cunts. And because the Cunts had killed my ally, which now I border... Yeah, they didn't like that much, did they? <laughs> but we have a truce with them, because I cancelled my alliance, so... <laughs> actually, yeah, that, that was actually unintentionally genius, because if... If that hadn't happened, then um, I wouldn't have had this truce, which means that I wouldn't. They could have joined the coalition, and that would have been four people who could have joined the coalition, which would have meant um, that they could have fucked my shit up. Why, yes, I am genius. How could you tell? But uh, now we are kind of in a position to just not do much, to be honest, because. Um, Oh yeah, right, fuck, I totally forgot I did this like in the beginning of the game. Uh, base tanks is at least four, sure thing. There we go. Good times. But yeah, no, um... Obviously we want to start eating these orcs, because they have uh, meme religions, which means we can kill them without the people we just pissed off caring, which is good. Um, also, we should send our colonists over here, in a, even if it is the wrong culture. We should be able to accept most of this soon enough. But yeah, I really want to invade Dog Eater. But that would involve fighting this guy, and he has 13,000 troops, and last time I fought him, he had 6,000. Not not fought him in this campaign, mind you, in one of my failed attempts. Still, um, if I couldn't beat him with six, like when he had 6,000 troops, I doubt, I doubt I'll beat him um, when he has 13,000. To be fair though, we do have a lot of money now, which is nice. Uh, do we keep both our forts? Ooh, nah, we ditch this one, I think. Our capital fort will have to do. There we fucking go. So we have enough splendor to get green tide settlers, letting us get colonies more fast. I said more fast. Go faster. I see you chopping wood there. I mean, it's been like a year since we started this. You haven't even chopped a single tree. Or maybe you chopped that one, but... Well, from what I can tell, that tree was chopped before you arrived. Oh well. I guess I too, if I could if I could get away with, you know, just fucking about like that, then, you know... I guess I would. Actually, no, chopping trees is kind of fun, so... Although, if, I guess if it was my job, then I wouldn't go along. Or then it wouldn't be as fun, would it? And Korrentar bailed, just as I got a claim on them, bastards. Eh? What the fuck? Okay, so Dog Eater used to be allied to both of the big orc boys. But it looks like he has changed his mind and decided to ally Hammer Man instead. Ah, I, I think we're gonna plan ourselves a little war. Well, once we have dealt with rebels. We need a new general too. Comment in the comment section if you want a general named after you. Let me speaking able to name <laughs> generals after it. It'll probably be like a lot of episodes before I can, you know, make it happen, but... Uh, and, you know, if you want to be heir to the throne, or fuck it, if you want a province I've named after you, I'll do, I'll do anything. Unless you want, you know... I won't name it something dumb. Unless your name is like something dumb, then I guess I it can't be helped. I don't know. Green Force. Time to take responsibility. Hell yeah, I'm actually good! Ah, if only I was like that in real life, eh? See what Green Force can do. Uh, yeah, that seems the least painful. Die! Okay, we lost more men than the rebels, but uh, we won out. Oh no, the Cunts League is rising. Oh god, fuck shit! Take the fort. <laughs> that was close. So I assume, <laughs> yeah, there is literally no one in the garrison. <laughs> But they're still like, oh man, we haven't broken the wall. It's not like we can just like take a guy and send him over. Nope, okay, okay, never mind. That's what I get for talking shit. Man, I am the worst at trying to decide ideas, especially when I don't have chat to tell me what to do. One thing could, of course, to be to take expansion temporarily just to get a temporary extra colonist, but honestly, I don't think my economy can handle another colony. 
admin is always nice, but I've come to understand that in the late game you really don't want mercenaries. It's just not a thing. Oh shit, I totally forgot to look at the um, the the things you get from like synergy. Let me have a look at this. Yeah, no, I think we're doing uh, economic actually, because them uh, if we combine that with um, with uh, Diplo, which I thought was going to be my next idea, then we get a bunch more taxes. And one of the issues in this region of this game is the fact that you have fuck all when it comes to money. Most of my money right now is, you know, money I've gotten from war reparations, and that's just not really like a long-term thing. Uh, so that does mean we have to pass up admin and innovative. Because I do think religious is what we're going to have to do next, probably. Uh, but yeah, we're doing economic, I think. Oh, here we go. So, um, the Iron Hammers actually quite like me. So, if we ally them temporarily, they might just let us invade his ally without interference. Might need to improve relations a bit more. Oh, no, that didn't make any difference. Really? Really? Hey, my shit for brains allies will actually help me now. Although I think I can deal with these guys on my own. I'm not gonna risk it anyways. It's really stupid though. What the fuck are you joining this guy for? I get that it kinda has to be that way. In terms of gameplay, but still. Dumb. Alright. Let us move to this Dwarven shenanigans, man. While these guys just sit around and do nothing. Can we even walk there? Yes, very indirectly, but yes. You know what, let's bide our time a bit. Let's actually get some of these sieges. Oh shit, oh fuck, oh balls. Uh, powerful mage bastard child. I'm gonna risk it. Oh, that was a mistake. That was a very big mistake. No, 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 no. Fuck. Is it too late to get rid of? Oh man, that I. Oh, those fucking things never work, man. I swear. <sighs> yeah, we can't have. Damn it! No. Why the fuck did I get? No. Alright, the uh, Shmeem Dwarves were honestly pretty straightforward to deal with. And yeah, no one gives a balls. Gives a ball. Balls? I don't know. Die, give me money. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now, are these guys... Yeah, so these guys are still allied to each other, which is unfortunate. Hopefully they'll start colonizing this eventually, and they'll start fighting. That would be useful. But... Wait, sword company? That's the only option? The fuck are the sword company? Sword covenant? Yeah, I guess that's just a mystery not meant to be answered. So there's a fun thing we can try. We can try and establish battle mage academies. Which gives us battle mage mercenaries and potential war wizards. Um, the cost is very high, but, and I've never actually had this work out, but it would be very funny if it actually did. So this is more of just of a fun thing, because we do get some uh, influence here, which I thought we could use, because yeah, it said that, you know, the more influence they have, the more likely you are to get, um, the more you are likely to get like a wizard general and like trust me wizard generals are fucking mental man um but yeah this event i guess it doesn't really matter what we take i guess we'll grab the loyalty and get some yeah all power cost minus five that's not that's not bad battle mages all right maybe they can replace my novice adventurers we will until after this revolt though Die, bitches. Hmm. Well, is this fun? My ally has decided to invade my other ally. 
<sighs> Fine. I'll help. There's at least a tiny hope that I can get some land out of this. A small potential. And they're okay, I'm not sure what they did there, but yeah, if I can get because like technically my vassal borders this land, so maybe he can hand me some, I don't know. I'll work on this area. Never mind, he's gonna siege it. Damn it, bastard. Oh, okay, so he actually brought a quite a lot of okay. Yeah, he brought quite a lot quite a lot of allies in. Queen concert? I don't have a queen concert. Oh, I do. It's an era that I don't have. Right, because my fucking waifu is too old. Ugh. Shit, who will actually take the throne when I die? A random noble, okay. Well, that's what I get for re-rolling too many times, eh? No, I cannot afford to spend admin on that. Sorry, not sorry. Cannot select a promise that cannot be made into a core. What if I give it to my vassal? Will it count then? Will it be more likely that I'll get it? I just want like a promise. I want something. And I got fuck all. Thank you, shit. And the war is over. No, well, good, good job. I mean, I guess we got some favors. Alright, so what we have been asking for has indeed happened. Clouded Eye has colonized a province close to Bladebreaker, and that seems to have broken the alliance between them. So I went ahead and cancelled my colony down here, and instead we're going to invade these guys and take one of their colonies, and presumably burn the rest, but that is what it is. It is what it has to be in all that. So we are pretty much ready. We're going to do anti monstrum Conquest, of course. We're going to call in the Gallant Friends, because I have enough uh, favors with them at this point to where they can be called in without... Well, without there should... Without... There shouldn't be any negative consequences, what I'm trying to get at. Should be able to just charge in here. Charge... Oh! Oh! This is your brain on Speed 5 Wars. Okay, they're going to actually attack over here. Interesting. Obviously, the Orcs will have superior morale. But if we can get there and reinforce in time, then this will be good. Barely. But indeed. Alright, so they are going to go there. I'm going to kind of just leave that to my ally to deal with, to be honest. While I swoop over here. Because we do need to get some basic occupations going. That and, you know, kill the enemy and all, all that, of course. But, um... Maybe a stack wipe? Nah, probably not. Actually, oh, oh, barely. But yeah, if we can get some of these things occupied, that would be great. Because then we can... Because presumably if I win a bit too much here, then the Brave Brothers are going to start getting ideas. Unless they have truces with the uh, Orcos. Nope, they don't. So we need to be... We need to be quick. And don't make mistakes like we have made before. Okay, so they're going to siege that all down. That's, you know, technically technically not my problem, I would argue. And we have an heir to the throne. Uh, I guess I don't have much of a choice but to let him exist. Our king is much too old. So yeah, that whole getting rid of my heirs thing very much backfired. Holy shit. Let us do our best and try and nuke these orcs. Or they're just going to run away. That can work too. Oh no, 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 no! Again! Oh, the risks! No! Ah, oh, it in fact fired! Wait, what? Wait, did we already? Oh my fucking god. Why do I always click these buttons? I swear to fuck. Oh, rest in peace, my military points. Oh, and he's a magic user too, meaning he will last a long while. But yeah, our guy's like 50 now, so it really is too late. Damn it! That sucks. Oh well, if we focus military and get an advice there, we might be able to compensate for it. Fuck, that 
that's gonna be such a oh that's bad though that's actually pretty bad with the orc warlord captured it's time to put justice exactly what that justice implies we will never quite know but uh, it gives us prestige and that's nice although of course that's just gonna tempt me to get um, to get more um, to, to get rid of my air again but yeah, we'll try and be careful yeah, we're burning these colonies to reduce the amount of aggressive expansion we're going to take. I think that's worth it. We're obviously going to have to keep this colony, because, yeah, there's quite a lot of boys here who are rather angry at me. But that actually, yeah, that made a difference. Pretty sure there was five people who would join Coalition. Of course, technically, four. Or four uh, and now it's three, because Bladebreaker won't be able to join. So, yes, this is good. We'll annex this sorry ass, get some coin. Honestly surprised at how salty the... Um, Okay, actually no, the humans aren't that salty about this. It's really just them being combined with the saltiness of the orc that makes the difference. But there we are. Glorious acquisitions. Let's start colonizing this shit. Of course, now we have a bunch of this Dukanist land. Which must be humanized at some point. Um, as soon as possible, preferably. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't even try for her. Because, I mean, I've been, yeah, I've been trying to get some religious conversion dude but what we might actually just do is just commit gen <laughs> well ethnic cleansing at least and because that converts both religion and culture in this region i mean all the other human kingdoms in this region is are doing it so i mean we might as well another idea i have is to just let clouded eye just live for for the time being because like at this point, no one else should really be able to get over here for a long time, other than some dwarves in the mountains, but it's going to be a while until they are, like, super strong. And these guys have Siberian frontiers, meaning they can colonize this shit. So just letting them colonize all this and then just ethnically cleansing it once it's colonized down the line is... I don't know, that sounds smart to me. Yeah, I mean, we just got vision here. I'll say I finally went to, got around to accepting those cultures. So shit is good. And actually, yeah, we get like a special mission, don't we, to convert this region to our culture, so... This should be fine. Alright, so... This might backfire, but I am much tempted to do a quick invasion of Korintar, simply because my ally, who is allied to the guy I want to invade, is a bit busy at the moment. And it would be rather excellent if we could uh, swoop in and, like, even if I don't take land off him, just cancelling their dumbass alliance would be a win in itself. They technically outnumber me, but through the sh power of our willpower or something, I'm sure we can prevail. Actually, yeah, our vassal actually has a decent army now, so... If he stopped drilling and actually started helping me, then this would have been straightforward enough. Oh wow, he didn't actually retreat. Oh, does that mean that his ally can't actually get to me? It might. I don't see why else they wouldn't have retreated into the House of Riches area. It's going to mean that we can't fully annex him, even if we wanted to, but... Yeah, that was a good victory by the comment section. Yeah, the comment section became a veteran in the, um, in the Orc War. He became good at land attrition, so... Yeah. I haven't posted the first episode yet, so I don't have I don't have specific names from the comment section to name my shit after, so we just went a bit generic. Oh, there we go. He's trying for it now. Of course my own ally gives him access. Ah yes, EU4. Truly the best game. And Rebels. Ugh. Maybe he can go kill them for me. That would be great. Oh, fucking hell. It has been a long journey, but we are finally ready to fight them. Go, go, comment section. <laughs> oh, yeah, we fucking crushed them. Excellent. Can I get away with annexation? Mm. I think I can, actually, yeah. Barely. Very barely. Because I still have my truce with... No, fuck, I don't have a truce with Cloud at never mind. I do have a truce with the Sword Covenant, though, don't I?
yes, yeah, and for quite a while, yeah, actually, yeah, we can get away with this annexation. Ah, oh, excellent. Man, we had some hiccups in the beginning, but this is going great so far. Queen is dead. Well, she squeezed out her last kid, which is what we wanted. Oh, you're really gonna, really gonna do with me like that. Alright, for some reason they didn't get to retreat there, so we were able to get the stack wipe. They might just want white piece. Yeah, they do. How much money do they have? Uh, decent bit, actually. You know what? I kind of do want that money. So I'm going to try and quickly see if I can just siege them down just real quick. Get some coin. I wouldn't mind the truce either. Or the extensioning of the truce. Tolerance of the Dwarves. Cadel's Rest. Independent Stronghold. In one of our provinces, not in Marhold. I mean, no. I won't mind the tolerance, but... Cottage industry. Uh, yeah, that sounds good. That's quite a lot of dev. Alright, we just had a pretty nasty revolt, so let's get this money I came for. Uh, I guess in your lines with the Cobalt Company, that might backfire, but we're going for it. And your rivalry, just so I can get some prestige, give up claims, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Just leave me alone to commit genocide or whatever. And then we annex this guy. Now, if I annex this guy... Yeah, House of Riches... Yeah, he won't be able to join. Sword Covenant can't join. And Corintar will... Yeah, it will be more than fine. This is okay. Good uh, little acquisition. Can I now colonize this? Yes, yes I can. Excellent. So we'll colonize this, and then we'll give these provinces to our vassal. Which means, yeah. Maybe don't core this. Because then we can have this province, and then we can use that to fabricate claims on this guy, and then we can go from there. Boop. Boop. Here we go, happy little vassal. And also, you know, a reason for me, or the ability to spend a bit less on, uh, on tech. Or, I mean, what am I saying? The ability to spend more admin on other shit that isn't coring is what I was trying to get at there. I don't know what the fuck I was saying. Excellent. We also, yeah, we, we've gotten our cavalry boost now from our griffin ideas. The griffin riders of Canor. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I think we've read this already, haven't we? Might have copy-pasted it into, um, to one of the, one of the mission thingies for, um, the missions. Which speaking of, I swear all Anbanar missions are a bit scuffed, to be honest, in that they they have a very sort of backwards view, I feel, of uh, also, hello. How did I not notice that? Marvale has, how much production? Eight? What's our mission, by the way? I haven't been paying attention. Uh, Marvale, oh yeah, uh, fuck, I could have sworn I recognized that. Oh, that's quite a lot of money. Yeah, I've got our mission, and then we can not do this, Marvel. Pro oh, eight production. Now we can do it. One of the pri primary economic activities in Marhold has always been metalworking. Thanks to the large deposit of iron below our native soil, I mean hold. This ore is then used to create what is referred to as serpent serpent spine steel, a particularly resilient alloy, stronger than most variants, and thus extremely apt to be used in weapons and armor. Luckily for us, the green tide has created a large demand for swords, and also an enemy on which we can put them to good use. Goods produced modifiers are always nice, aren't they? Excellent. What's next? Marhold is owned by Marhold, has temple and marketplace. Well, we already built the temple here, so marketplace it is. 
which gives us more tax. Excellent. Neat, 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 neat. Um, yeah, we, well, yeah, I got the money. I got the money. Ah, oh, no, 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 nice. Fuck, what was I gonna say again, though? I don't fucking remember. Okay, I think it's time to ramp up this episode by, um, as they say, doing a little trolling. As in committing ethnic cleansing of the orcs. Yay! <laughs> so hopefully that's going to simplify the conversion process of this region. And on that note, thanks so much for watching and until next time, bye!